Well, it's finally official. Microsoft is not letting the Xbox division go. We know that over the last few months there has been some rumours and apparently discussions with Amazon as to whether Microsoft would allow the Xbox division to be acquired by another company. Now, in a statement sent out to all employees, the new boss of Microsoft has reaffirmed Microsoft's commitment to the Xbox division and, by extension, the Xbox One. Not really sure if any of us expected Microsoft to really sell off the Xbox division, but obviously investors were clamouring for a change, any change at Microsoft, that might yield some kind of performance results. Unfortunately, Steve Ballmer was not able to deliver those results and he basically fell on his sword. Now the new boss of Microsoft really has taken the bull by the horns, looked at the whole of Microsoft's product range, where it's investing its money into, where its markets really are, and has obviously decided that Xbox is viable for Microsoft. Clearly it's viable for Microsoft. If they didn't have Xbox, they would kind of lose a massive chunk of their consumer brand. Well, they wouldn't really have a consumer brand anymore. They would just be known as those guys that make Windows, those guys that make Office. That would be Microsoft. So it's really good that uh, Microsoft is going to stick with the Xbox division, but they've got a lot of work ahead of them. They really do need to turn that ship around right now to recapture some of the ground that Sony has basically run away with right now. Part of Microsoft's big problem is it's awful at explaining itself and actually sticking to the things it's explained. Just in the last couple of days, we've had the news that for some reason, Microsoft was not going to enable all Xbox Ones to be development consoles, according to an executive at Microsoft. And within hours, Microsoft's PR had to say, no, that isn't true. There are still plans to do it, but we just don't simply know when we're going to do it. This kind of confusing messaging means that for a large number of people, all they'll have heard is the negative. You're not going to do something you promised. The vast majority of people won't then have heard the follow-up, oh no, that was all completely wrong. What sticks in people's minds is a negative. And Microsoft are extraordinarily bad at doing this over and over again. We saw that with the launch of the Xbox One initially and those first public announcements. They basically messed up as badly as they possibly could. For Microsoft now, everything is to play for. They've got a road ahead of them that they're going to have to do some pretty hard work to get down if they're going to catch up with Sony. There's no evidence yet that the price drop and the removal of Kinect from the bundle has led to a bump in sales. Personally, I don't think we'll see a big bump in sales for either console until we start seeing some decent games that are worth packaging in the boxes. Ultimately, Microsoft still has a long way to go, but Sony is certainly having some issues in its home territories as well. This race is not done yet, and it may very well be a swings and roundabouts for at least the next 18 months. Yeah.